have commenced the second enforcement phase of Operation Cloud Roads and Public Highways on Tuesday. According to the Public Relations Office of the Gambia Police Force, Cadet ASP Modu Musa Sisaho, the latest operation will focus on upholding law enforcement in all previously designated areas, ensuring compliance with regulations and addressing any breaches of the law. Let's have more details of that in this report by Aisa Tijane. Almost 10 months after its initiation, the Operation Clarity Roads Task Force was back on the streets in different localities, including the Senegambia area, to continue its road clearing operation after a few months' break. According to the authorities, the move is aimed to prevent re encroachment, eliminate structures that had encroached, and enhance traffic flow to reduce accident risks. Speaking to iAfrica TV, ASP, Modu Musa Sisaho, the public relation officer, emphasized that the operation has seen success thus far and noted that certain individuals are cooperating with the team. Uh, the operation clears today is the fourth day and since we started on Tuesday, okay. um, we've been successful because we are enforcing. So from the word enforcing is that you are now forcing people to comply. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Uh, so we don't expect any resistance because an individual cannot resist uh, against the state much more where we have a number of people, law enforcers on the ground to ensure that uh, mm -hmm. what is access is, is, is accorded. So yes, we have people who will express their concerns and all that, but uh, mm -hmm. the matter is that uh, they have to succumb and they have to ensure that they go by uh, what is expected. So this is what is happening. The police spokesman further emphasized the significance of the public cooperation during this crucial enforcement push. He highlighted that the primary objective of this operation is to ensure open public spaces and alleviate traffic congestion. The goal of the operation is to ensure that mm -hmm. you know the congestion that we are we are currently seeing um, within. Um, the data bundle area uh, on our traffic uh, because that's where it actually began because we've seen that because of the congestion, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, it can lead to unforeseen circumstances like accidents and other incidents related to traffic. Mm -hmm. And and we and we expect that, yes, that will reduce and we expect that also our environment because most people who are the business on the road, congesting the road and, you know, throwing, littering the road and everything would mm -hmm. be something of the past. So the environment is expected to, to, to increase in terms of uh, environmental cleanliness and, and congestions of our road and ensuring that there is free flow of traffic. Uh, then people are expected not to be in traffic the way it used to be, or that would be in traffic for two hours, going to work or closing from work when they should be 25 minutes or 30 minutes to their home. So, mm -hmm. and I think this is the goal. The government initiated Operation Clear the Roads and continued to spark several reactions from the public as some people blaming the physical planning for unclear designate boundaries. However, the tax force aims to resolution in execute of their mandate and urge the public to comply with the operation team. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Aisa Tujane.